Yes, Nico's yeah. back, yeah. I've been away for a bit, aren't I? Yeah, certain reason. I'll tell you all later in the week. I don't know. Well, today we have Zorin OS7 Ultimate. Ultimate, Ultimate, Ultimate. Ultimate means it's their big one, it's their pay one. Well, you don't have to pay, but you do if you know what I mean. And I'll show you all about it in a minute. But well, Ultimate basically means it comes with most stuff, okay? It's 3.6 gigabytes to download and burn, okay? So that's a rather large download. So if you're actually um, <clears throat> got a slow internet connection, you may want to buy it instead. So it's rather large, isn't it? Okay. So as you can see, nice clean desktop, lovely. Based on Ubuntu, as you know, lovely. But Ultimate comes with lots and lots of stuff, okay? And you're saying, what's all the stuff, Snakey? Oh, by the way, did I tell you? Got a new monitor. So all videos now will be in 1920 by 1080, by the way. So I've got a nice new big monitor. So nice and it and look good. Nom, 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 nom. Anyway, we're going to get back and do stuff, okay? On to our menu. Zorin menu, as you can see, the usual sort of stuff. But as I said before, from Zorin 6, well, actually it's from Zorin 5 was a bit of a disappointment for me, but from the last release can that I had from this one, was really really good and 6.3 or 6.2 was really good too so i've actually sorted some stuff out that's all right so under accessories should we go to accessories first yeah let's have a look activity journal archive manager calculator let's have a calculator a little bit of calculating there you go see uh, application basic advanced financial programming so we'll go to advanced Ooh, nice i've got some numbers in there yeah what's that like? Do you want to do that? yeah Hit enter, and that's the sun. Okay, that's enough of that one. Next, <clears throat> we'll go to games. Now, normally Zorin don't come with too many games, really. Although they're gaming one, they used to do a gaming one, didn't they? Remember? Yeah. There's plenty here. Look, You've got Mars, Brutal Chess, if you're doing Brutal Chess stuff, Armageddon, Advanced, Sudoku, if you like doing Sudokus. Okay, so we click on Sudoku. It's just not the ordinary Sudoku. You get a choice of easy, medium, hard, or very hard. Now, as you know, I work in a school at the moment, so I should be able to do this really easy. And you know what? It's too late and I'm going to do it. Bye. Anyway, that's enough of that. And internet. Oh, sorry. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the bar first. So, we get our exit and entry menu. So, sneaky here. So, I can shut down, restart, log out. It's me. System settings. Oh, install, by the way. I forgot to. Zorin OS help and about this computer. Mm, yeah, that's all right. Then, next we have our time and date. It's good. There's my volume and my Ethernet connection. Nice. On the other side, on the left hand side, we have a rhythm box, I think you'll find it. Or is it quite a queue? Well, you know what's going to be, don't you? You know, you do know. It should be open now, really easy. And it's not. Come on. I tell you what, the little problems I did have with this actually. <clears throat> I downloaded both versions, 64 bit and the 32 bit. The 64 bit would not play ball on a reasonably new dual core machine. Okay, 32, no big deal. Okay, so yeah, he takes your choices and takes your chances. It's up to you. Personally, this time around, if you've got an older machine, not a current machine, I will go with 32 bit. If your machine's more, less than three years old, go for the 64. It should work okay. If it doesn't, just download Zorin OS 7 Core to see if it actually plays ball with your computer to start with before you pay any money. Anyway, that was Rhythm Box. Now, you know, you don't just get one, no, no one music play. You get several. No, you do really. really good. I'll see what I mean. Anyway. So we we'll close it down, and I'll show you a bit more in a minute. Okay. So there's uh, office. Oh, sorry, office. What do we get in office? We get the full Libre Office suite. That's nice, and lots of other bits and bobs. You can WX Banker. Yeah, we can call it another thing, can't we? VYM view your mind project manager PDF modification thing and craft craft that's where cheese comes from well, American cheese anyway economizer do economy document view PDFs dictionary Calibra ebook management I'll open Libra says mm, cow cup yeah I'm a bit drinky to my waiting hang on mm -mm 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 -mm. as you can see nice and big on this nice big screen nicey nicey Lovely. Does what it says on the tin. Now, when I say it does what it says on the tin, basically it means maybe when you read a tin, it says this will do this. That is what I mean. So if I says it says it's going to do the worky stuff, it's going to do it. You know what I mean? Okay. Back to our manual. We're going to send a video to some. 
quite good. Here, you have lots and lots of stuff. There's only one thing in between for me, which is a sunder. I would prefer to see a sunder. I really like uh, ripping with a sunder. It just does what I want it to do, basically. But you do get Acid Rip DVD Ripper, and Rock for a music player. So you not only got, you know, you've got Riven Box as well. Reserve for burning your disc. I like K3B personally. Cheese for your cam. DVD disaster for doing yeah, that sort of stuff. Gnome M player for videos. Doesn't always work for me. Sometimes I use other stuff. ISO Master, Jockster, Kazam. Hopefully it's the latest version of Kazam, which isn't too bad. But if you want the best quality, it takes up enormous amounts of room on your hard drive. Okay. We get Caden Live for your video editing sort of stuff. Dummy. So wait a second. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're doing it. That, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's alright, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, what size will I do it in now? Now I've got this new monitor. Oh, I don't know. Can I find one? Well, it'll have to be 1080p, wouldn't it? I'll do it at 25, yeah. For a simple reason, that's me. I'm at that size, okay. No, I don't want to check for that. Next. Yeah, 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 we're all there, look, and we're finished. And now we've done that, Caden Knife should come up. Ooh. Another drink is. Yeah, I know it's not Caden Live project. Bugger off. Now, <clears throat> Caden Live has come on lots and lots since I first started using it. I don't use it all the time, I use OpenShot most of the time, just for videos. But if you want to do real nice videos, Caden Live's a good one. But remember, there's others in the pipeline at the moment, okay? You know what they are. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, you're not. But as you can see, it can do anything you want it to do. Full screen, you just do what you want to do. Nice. Okay. Next, we're going to go back down to system, sound and video, sorry, we'll just scroll down. You also get Me TV, Myro for doing stuff, Mix, I use an awful lot on all my other machines, it's a DJ application tool, it's probably better than some of the paid ones to be honest with but if you want really advanced features, obviously you're not paying no money, so you know, you take your money so you get your choice. I don't particularly like this particular skin, but you can get as many skins as you want, so there's options. No, no options. I've got no options there. Where do the options come? As you can see, it's not doing it what I want to do here. You can add your vinyl um, <clears throat> displays here. So if you want some real scratching, you can. And you can enable live broadcasting. But there are other utilities out there to do that that actually do it better at the moment. Okay. So yeah. I'm just showing them all Okay. Bye. Okay. Next. Go back to start the video again? Yeah, go on. So anyway, we've got down to mix, haven't we? We've got open shot, rhythm box, as I said before, sound recorder, transmit again for your video conversions, sometimes takes a long while, videos, well, I'm not even going to that one, VLC is there, and XM, XBMC, Media Center, don't always work properly, but hey, it's here for you, that's why you're paying your 10 euros at the end of the day. Oh, and Xene, Xene's been around for years and years and years, so we're going to go back, 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 and the system tools. <clears throat> Administration preferences, disk usage, yeah, it's all right, yeah. Nippon muck, that's a KDE thing. System monitor, let's see what our system is doing. Oh, I'll have another drink it, you know? Yeah. Mm. Now, unfortunately, at the moment, it seems like some program is hogging my stuff, as you can see, because the CPU master is going mental, mental, mental with us, and my fans just stepped up a gear. Yeah, not good, really, is it? Mm, I wonder what that is. Mm. Well, I could check it in a minute, I'm just going to finish the video. Okay. And systems again. System settings. Oh, the background plus, so you can change more backgrounds. And the look changer, which is what Zorin's made for, really. So, at the moment, we're using the Windows 7 look. But say I wanted to make it look like Mac OS. Okay, I'll click Mac OS. It thinks about it. That's a bit of stuff. We wait and wait and wait and wait. I'll have a drinkage. It says it's done. Well, with the Mac OS stuff, you have to wait a bit because you're waiting for the bar to come at the bottom. Of the there we go. There you go. So we'll close that. And as you can see, it looks a bit like Mac OS X. It's not too bad. It's all right. You know, if you're coming from Mac, you want to go to Ubuntu or Linux in general. This is good for you. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, so it's a. We we'll get a menu button up there as well. So, system tools, we've done all that really. Also, change your splash screen manager and all stuff like that. Universal access, it's all there for you, Inclu including all car and on screen keyboard. Wine, it's not the most current one, you may have to go do a PPA if you want to play War Thunder and World of Tanks. You need the latest one to do that. But Play on Linux is here for you. You also get the Software Center, which is basically a, a hip on the Ubuntu one. We'll give it a couple of seconds. 
<laughs> By the way, I'm doing the recording in virtual box, but I have got it on a hardware machine. The only reason I've done, not done it on a real machine is because the 64 bit didn't want to play ball, but the 32 was good. But I just want to get a video out to, for you to, sh you know, to see what you're doing, really. As you can see, it is the Ubuntu Software Center at the end of the day, isn't it, really? Oh, what's that? Meadow Towers, what's that? Can we have a quick look at that? Oh, defense game. Ooh, mm. You know what? I might buy that because us Linux guys do that, doesn't we? We actually buy stuff. We don't want to rip it off. We just want to buy it, yeah. If we like it that much. Four dollars ain't too bad. That's like two ninety-five to me in the UK. That's not too bad. Anyway, what else was I show from the menu? Oh, yeah, so places you get home folder, desktop, connect to server, and recent documents. A lock screen, log me out, and shut me down. Okay. For your uh, photos, you get shot well. Excuse me. <clears throat> you get pigeon as well. Thunderbird for your mail. Google Chrome for your main browser. Remember, you can install Thunderbird if you want to. Sorry. Firefox if you want to. It's up to the E22 now. It's up to you. Uh, the only thing I find with Chrome and Chromium is once you start opening the tabs, it starts using the resources up, where Firefox doesn't. Right. right what am I going to say about this? Zorian OS 7 runs really, really fast and really, really nice on most systems. I've had it off, unlike the 64 bit version, but it may work for you. It's up to you. On the whole, the 32 bit version works really, really fast and clean and super duper. And I would recommend it to any of you. But if you don't want to play a nine, sorry, pay the nine euros or donate the nine euros, go and get the core and get it yourself. It's up to you. But if you want to give the guy some money, do it the way around. I mean, come on, if you're in the UK, nine euros is about, well, sorry, 9.99 is about, about seven quid, isn't it? And if you're in the States, it must be about, well, I don't know. Twelve dollars, something like that. It's no big deal. And it's all done for you, and it's a really, really large download. If you get the core, it's a smaller download, but you're going to spend more time doing it. Not so bad for us in the UK, but in the US, I know you get capped for stuff. Yeah. Anyway, I like it. Zorin OS Seven Ultimate. You know, I'm going to give it, even though it's a pay one. I'm going to give it ninety-four. Sneaky Linux. Okay, now. I see those. Bye. -bye.